in today's video I'm going to share with you a few tips to help you deal with restless leg syndrome or leg cramps during pregnancy. So restless leg syndrome is that feeling of extreme heaviness in the legs that we get during pregnancy, especially as we go further into the third trimester. And you can also get leg cramps, especially during the night and uh, mostly focus in the calf area. So the reason this happens is because our body is working so much harder to pump a much larger volume of blood and our circulatory system expands which makes our circulation much slower. And of course just the fact that we're carrying more weight is also a contributing factor. Another thing that may be causing you to feel these cramps is lack of mineral salts. So make sure you're upping your intake of calcium and magnesium. So some other things that might help are wearing compression socks, uh, especially in hot weather. Um, this helps bring the circulation back to the heart. Um, also taking hot and cold showers, so there you can maybe exchange between cold water and hot water for about 30 seconds each over a period of 5 minutes. Um, massaging the calves and the feet can be, can be very helpful. Uh, also taking daily walks and elevating your legs again to help that circulation come back to the heart. Another thing that might be helpful is stretching your calves. So you can do that in a downward dog position or maybe even just placing um, the ball of your foot elevated on a step and then letting the heel drop. So really getting some tension in those calf muscles. And now I'm gonna show you a few exercises, foot exercises that you can do. So grab hold of a um, stability ball or you can also just place your leg up on a couch. So we're going to get into a side leg position with one leg on the ball and here just make yourself comfortable. You might want to put a pillow under your belly and here we want our foot to be free but other than that we're nice and relaxed and we're simply going to be flexing and pointing our foot and a nice pace and you're going to do this for about 30 seconds so you just keep pointing and flexing and you'll feel quite quickly that the calf muscle gets recruited it gets <laughs> tired but we want to work through that so really try to push so we are here we're flexing and pointing again about 30 seconds and then the second movement is to make big circles again with the foot so we're staying again for about 30 seconds so you can do 15 in one direction and then 15 seconds in the other and on and now I can feel my foot burning I can feel my calf burning it's really tiring, but you want to really work through that because this really helps promote, again, that circulation flowing back. Okay, switching the side. And at this point, I'm struggling, but we're going to try to push through this. Let's do five more seconds. Okay, so here you can take a little break and then repeat the same sequence of 30 seconds of flexing and pointing and 30 seconds of circles. Um, two more times, so three in total, three minutes in total. And then of course do the same thing on the other leg. And that's it. So really nothing complicated, but uh, these things can be very useful. I've had um, cramps in my calves throughout the third trimester and I've found that doing this type of foot gymnastic and then massaging my calves before sleeping have been two of the most helpful things. So let me know whatever you try, if you find it helpful or not. And that's it. I'll see you in the next one.